Yeah. Are you with me? Come on. Hey. Hey. Sanbana. Hey. Sanbana, Sanbana. I'm so sorry I'm late. Shut up. 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 Oh, wow. Thank yes. you. Thank you for coming through and thank you for being my guest. So, you are late, but you are here. Unsha and God. So, hailing all the way from Atembisa, 1632. Once again, I have said welcome, but I will say it again because our guest is in the house. Please make some noise from Valencia, Kale! <laughs> hey, my friend, how are you doing? I'm good, my friend, and how are you? I'm great. Thank you for saying yes to be part of this conversation, and we're looking forward to learning about your life and hearing your story. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for so, thank you so much. Let's, so I always start here with every guest. If you, okay. if you were a fruit at this very moment, what, what fruit would you be and why? Um, I think I'll be an orange. Mm. Why? Because mm. the orange has a juice of ning. Yes. So I have that juice in me. That... Oh no! Are you back? Yes, I'm back. I'm back. I'm here. All right. Your network had just vanished with you. I pray that the All network right. is good. All right. Okay. So y- you would be an orange. That's a fruit in season. What about an orange? Why would you be an orange? Besides the fact that it's juicy and stuff. What about an orange can give us more knowledge about you? What about an orange that will give you more knowledge? Gunga no keti orange. Eh, yini ni mshampe i orange. E maskati umbalu orange. Yini nonga shela nga. Like why you keti lelo fruit lelo? Besides uguti li choose. Umbalu tanda band yabo. Utanda band to cool. Angi tu yazo si orange before ul peaches so lunale zintele se inga ne inga ne inga e ning. So, me nangi tata njengu orange because I love helping people because na mi abang bang sisega kule mpilo eni. Nice. Nice. No, an orange is a fruiting season. We love ama orange, especially ma juicy. Ma wa squeeze anje. Ati pata. It was, we very, we love them like that. So, ge, um, if you were to tell people in your own words who you are, who, people that don't know you, how would you describe yourself? Umbali is a bubbly person. Umudotanda band, otandu klega, otandu peace. You know, ngitandu klala in a place where everybody's happy. I don't mm. like to see people sad. And yabonanje, I just want umuntu apile the way afunu pila ngakona. O Nazi foot. Ginan in John Corn. O Yawas. O Yawas Balege la foot, and as it gains a line, you got a scobege, stembe with Gonkegus or Hambang or Shen. So I just, I just told the people, Luguti, you are originally born in KZN. Where in KZN were you born, and what made you move from KZN to come to Joburg? Oh, okay. I was born in KZN, a Pochepstini. And then I had to go and study for what I wanted to study for, which was a drama. And that's why I had to move to Joburg because I'm at the last Plaza. At that time, I being not to Joburg. Mm. So the yeah. greener pastures were in Joburg. I like that. Yeah. And then if we go back to KZN, go back to Umbali Tele when she was still 13 and 14, uh, what kind of a person were you? 
during that age maukala ungena kuma teenager nje kanje what kind of a kid were you and um what games do you remember playing during those times <laughs> oh my god okay yo the thing is ne mina ngihlale kakhulu with family e e uma wami esemsebenzini yabo so mm. i had to be umama to my younger sisters ne so abengashi ukuthi bengidlala kakhulu bengadlala kakhulu but bengibuye ngidlale obviously as umntwana um bengiphapha kakhulu lengane phaphiji etha ngicula etha ngijiba nje sikolela bebazi ukuthi nje makuqhama kumbali nja ukusekuzo bakho nomsindo oke you know <laughs> so bengidlala bo bengidlala amatshe yabona Oh, I want to make him the weather long as Anda. Yeah, so Macalopa. Oh, Macalopa Matina, it low. It's now a Macalopa in Tambo, his Pimbanga Pomunia, Pimbanga Pomunia, Bessia, like his Angazos by Bizangan. Oh, by Bizum Kusha, a pickle. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. So, umubuga in the lokulengayo. What made you to follow or want to be an artist? Ukaleni nukfisa ugu by artist and uibone ni nuguenda isi posobu artist. Okay, I, I think I've always been an artist, ne? Mm. From the young age, in the primary, I remember I'm um, sitting assembly school, ne? So, nang it's nang tando kula yabo mag ne mag ne pasasi bisan ng poloko ng makai. So mag na leso zinto leso gehan ben na mihan ben no mano aunt yabo leon. So in the school, ne? Kuti wagu assembly kalitul nang wagu pela mina sa kalitul ok. So I was just a laughing stock the whole year. Everything's <laughs> and I'm going to laugh. Everything's I'll be like. Even mm. in high school, I joined a club, a drama classes. Mm. So and then I decided it was okay. Let me just do this. Who yeah, was so the Abazali? Mm. Abazali mm. want to do a drama, but hey, we are from the look actor. You know, na le, ham we are from the la. But la pumba se office. So can I just end? Yeah, but I had to follow my dream. And how did they take it? Umu bachela guti bang tati le DUT goto angi yofunde lukse benza e office in yofunde luguba um umlingis. How did they take that? My mom was okay, but now she was not that okay. Yabo, mm. but the rest of the family shame. Ah uh-uh. ah, bengi ishayanji. Lo go funde lukse ex go go funde lo nuk ex. They had to understand to go Okay, right. So, Maseba Kalugu Bone TV, Batin. But how can they see it and Doyen Zai? I'm like, so now you're proud of me. Okay. Yeah. Let's talk back to um making the decision to go to drama school as a black child because we know that as a black child as you said ukuthi ukhule uma kwinganza kini ngoba umama besebenza kude ngiyathemba ukuthi uma bengi asebenza umsebenzi ophezulu you know so Oh not at all. Exactly. So umu ukhetha ukuya uyoyenza idrama esikolweni did you even think ukuthi Noma, at that moment, what method was you following your journey and making your dreams a reality? I think what matters Nepal at that time, Uguti, I want to follow my dream. Uguti, mm-hmm. so, or not, but I believed in myself, Uguti, as in, 
this journey you're in a emailing on my own mm. Mm. i can see with nobody supporting me let me just do it for myself mm. because that's what i love true and how would you say how important is it for kids especially in today's generation to go to drama school and to go to music school and to go to art school and study their craft how important is it yes the in in it it's very important with abandon abamba go study the art because mm. once you get into this industry there are things that you have to you have to understand so if you didn't go to 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 varsity you won't understand the thing mm. and you get exploited you just know, don't know what to do but mm. now you've started there are so many opportunities that you can do mm. like as as i started uh, drama i know i can also be a singer as i am a singer and also mm. a dancer and also an actress Mm. you know mm. there are so mm. many things that can and also i'm very talented uh, i've got this talent to look at this this gave me j um i can do in well mm. you understand i can do in well and that makes me give give me mali sometimes mm. yeah but when i can see what i cannot do this now okay jobs are not coming in what must i do in so mm. in well every month i will know it's okay i have i'm a client and i will be able to pay rent mm. how important is it as an as an artist to have multiple streams of income yo it is very important it is very, was possessed it is so important <laughs> yes, yo we understand that when you have no income at all as an artist you don't even have money to go in for an audition mm. so if you have any other thing that you do i shame mm. so you should not stick in game <laughs> and trouble, i know that you recently found yourself in a set of a movie i think where you were doing their hair right um yes yes it was what, uh, yes last year last year how was that yeah. experience to walk into a set but this time be on the other side because normally you are sitting down and somebody's doing it for you <laughs> so Yo, how was it was so funny because when i came in there was this guy um was, his name is tiro who mm. tiro was 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 doing was with the crew on his tunes you know mm. so when he saw me coming in he was so excited and then he called me and he's like okay She's, he's just explaining to me what he, what is this character doing whatever if i'm like what are you talking about <laughs> and you, you here to act i'm like no i'm just doing what oh my god i was so excited when i saw you i'm like askis <laughs> <laughs> but in the, you know you know people are and mm. when you're doing their hair and makeup they just think you're just nobody mm. so Mm. They, they're on screen they don't know you but i just kept my cool was like okay let's just do what I, what I, what i'm here to do let's just mm. and how important what would you say to artists especially young upcoming artists about carrying themselves how would you advise them to carry themselves on set especially as you are starting out in the game you guys there's nothing that builds it's e e lokuzane e humbleness mm. you just need to be humble wherever you are you just need to be humble awazi uphakamela abantu mm you need to do that even mm. if you feel like okay you playing a lead in the show hi bo mm. just be humble mm. because being humble is what makes us more jobs mm. yes so as as talking ngane about uh being in isitunzi because you were part of the girls in isitunzi and that was probably the big the role that launched you into the mainstream where many yes. people started to know you as how was that experience and how did you get in the production in the first place okay 
I joined e, my agent. I'm not going to name them. Okay, I joined my agent. <laughs> <laughs> She's not plugging you. <laughs> Come on. Try. No, I. It's okay. It's up to you. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. I joined my agent um 2015, isn't it? Oh. 2015 to 2016. So they sent me to an audition. Um I was auditioning hey I was auditioning for for Win mm. actually. Mm. So I came to audition we a rapid blue ne mom figure corner auditioning and then I was done and then the director was like uh uh-uh, can you stay behind and audition for Ugesh? I was like oh okay cool I my audition I get for Ugesh. like there and there she was like this is what i want <laughs> you know? so you got the job and on the spot and the mzanti magic wanted a familiar face hey mm. they wanted mm. a familiar face but she was like she's my first choice mm. it was the first choice and then second choice and i was like ah mbali is my first choice and then mm. mzanti magic had to go with her first choice goba so, yeah, goba Ngobu God must have volume ya wage konga ovala git. I get I get I get conjoga ovala. So I'm feeling so, just like that. How was it, especially in season one, walking in on set because you all didn't know each other, you know? You you've yeah. seen each other here and there on TV, some of them, but you did not know each other. How did you develop that bond and how was the first day on set? Yo, the experience was amazing. The cast, the crew was just on another level. Mm. Like I enjoyed every moment that I was there. I was like, okay, wow, this is very nice. Mm. Okay. And the relationship, relationship that we had with our cast members was just amazing. Now, but they were just cool people in the end pillar. Most of them they are known faces. Yeah. But you know? Nami, when I get on set, yo, people are just like, yo, we're so happy you're here. I'm like, okay. Because you know <laughs> when you have, you are a right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, and how- I enjoyed every moment. Looking at the character, Rakesh, what did you take with you? from that production and you're going to take with you everywhere you go in your life in your future what is that lesson that ukesh taught you about you ukesh umfundise ukuthi when you have a friend mm lomngani dark or blue like wherever you are leo friendship leo bond leo that you guys have because i have so many friends and i understand the relationship that i have with you or anyone else that i have as a friend mm. yeah, so mm. i just don't bend bridges with my mm. friends mm. you know that's very i important. just have that bond with them because i love them and i want them to succeed and that's mm. what ukesh was doing all along bra i got you Mm. You, yeah. Mm. How did you feel when your co-star uh, was nominated for a whole Emmy? What, what did that mean for all of you? Please don't go there. I was so excited. Yes, Utu Sombedu, she is so talented. She makes it so easier to work with her. Mm. You know, to you know, my famous. You have that thing. What's ish, ish? Hey, I have to impress this one. I, mm. But with her, I was just myself. I was just doing whatever that I can. Jay, we gelled so so much, even on the audition. Like it, 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 it felt like we've known each other from, uh, maybe many years ago. Yeah. But Jay, I really enjoyed. Yo, when she got nominated, I was just here. <laughs> Okay, G is asking me to ask you about Utis Utispoon. 
because that is a name that has followed you and everyone from Durban knows you as K- Teaspoon. Why did you used to take teaspoons off stage? What was happening? <laughs> Why are you teaspoon? Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Let me explain that. Okay, ne? What happened was in 2017, mm. Mang Kebasi. So I had to play a role like that teaspoon with Sarafin. Mm. So from the audition, Gabi song or teaspoon from the audition, I got cast. <laughs> and yes, we below we we Sarafina is big and yes. that bubbly and stuff. So that's how I got Ika Margati spoon. And Abantu Aba Dala that Aba Abahambe Dala Skolweni in Aga Figi mean. Now Babang Biza Moti spoon, Masang figure like only Abang Zebala what to spoon to spoon. There was a time where Ufutsuba and Gifone Lufutsubane Fuzugo is a director, Nai Befunda O a DU team. So ngiyam fonel hi putsu go kuluma no numbal at umbali. And man the gaza muktaz umbal nabang at ukuma not a spoon. What I why was ukuma not a spoon? Why was umbal umbal sagana numbal wed? I was like, okay. So that's how that my name my name followed me as putispoon gay. That's beautiful. And having done a play like Usarafina, um and looking at the current state of things, where the world is speaking about Black Lives Matter, but also yes. in South Africa, we are looking at femicide, violence. Kids are not in mm. school right now um, mm. because of the COVID-19, but people COVID-19. are breaking into school, are taking the books. Yes, and the materials, yes. yes. Uh, how would you say, what would you, I mean, having done a production like Sarafina, how would you bring those lessons, what message would you bring to the people in this current day? How relevant is that place still today? We are seeing, ne? that play is so relevant in a way you put it. Um, about mm. violence like long time ago. It's so painful because we don't know exactly this beginning. This COVID thing. We really don't know. Can we just be um, united as, as South Africans? Mm. And mm. Mm. So people just need to be um, human enough. But Mm. Speaking of Abantuana Betu, I know that you are a mother to a beautiful young little Pikinini. How she's grown, hey? A whole eight year old. (laughs) Um, Mm. Looking at, let's rewind back to the day that, yeah? I'm listening. listening. No, Bengit? Let's rewind back to the day that you got the news. Uguti, or pregnant, Namshanj. What happened? What were your thoughts? Where were you? Who was with you? Who was the first person you told? And how did you feel at that very moment? Yo, Uncle Sam, I was with the baby daddy. <laughs> I was with the baby daddy <laughs> when I found out I was pregnant. <laughs> You know, my daughter looks pregnant, and kuna kuna mama mukdala ne. She was my my primary school teacher. Mm. So, we bang for wine for nela earlier. E e mbuzo tumzo figa ni ne my respect. I was like, yo, I don't know. In 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 in. So during the day, and then I find out that I'm pregnant, and then I called her. I was like, ma, um, mkiso zanzo tumzo figa tumzo tumzo kibelep su as. Yin when Zenjan, like she was the first person in Gamjel with Lalela Gel. Because you know what Tina cut is it to ask Kulum Nabazala Bazala, you have a woman, Exactly. Like she's been my mother, you mm. know. So, um, Mama Manga, Kesem Sebenzin, oh, yeah, why Hamba is calling me, all those mm-hmm. things. So, I was like, Girl, I'm coming. What's he? He wants to join. Got to nayak na loot. 
So I felt like yo ngo siam. And then now I'm still struggling a boy, but kiso le sumuto ana nzo yenza ganja nle yond. But ke isa ko nu ko na ikin tengo nzo yenza nam. That na that so like that day dambama ngai pack station mashona maritspe. Isi mchali ke. If I'm just girl, girl, say your bed. I took it like, oh, funny, lose an egg, my mother, my hey. biological mother. Oh, funny, lose an egg, I'm like, oh, my God. And then I had to tell my mom, hey, then, it's a new boy, you know, mother's heart. <laughs> exactly. And I want to know this because you were coming to Joburg to chase a dream. You were coming to become a actor. Yeah. 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 You are coming to become an actress, a star, yeah. living KZN, living Durban, living everything you knew. And here you are at a point where you are about to make your dreams a reality and then bam, a baby comes. What mm-hmm. makes you not decide to terminate your pregnancy at that moment? What makes you decide to say, "No, I I'm going to keep this baby and I'm going to tell my family what makes you make that decision?" and do you regret having kept this the baby yo 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 i think ukufika kwamelo thando woke me up because mangisuke mm. dut 209 mangiqeda 209 but anqeda angiqeda qeda qeda you get me ngathi yenze i2 which was a deal so mangabuya ngeze goal 2010 so okay Shop, shop, and then the baby's here. So I'm saying it's pregnant. Imagine, okay, yinen gayens because ngabonz man jengeng zeng sebenz because I'm pregnant. Yinen mm. gayens. So my baby made me go back to Ever City and finish. Wow. Wow. So when I got pregnant in in 2011, uh. 2012, I went back. Mm. I finished my diploma graduated in 2013. Nice. So like she was just a blessing due to me. Wow. That's so beautiful because at that moment another person would think okay I cannot get into the industry because I'm pregnant I can't attend auditions but I need to find a job because ngomhlisa ngani umntwana so ahamba ye pick and pay noma ye kuphi kuphi just to make sure that they have something on the table but you decide to go back to school and finish up how was that experience being in class knowing obviously you don't have long because your baby is coming how was that going back to school yo it was tough but we are born into my nzima kodwa kumelwe uyenze mhm and the funny thing is i was more clever when when i was pregnant like isn't a bang zenza like ukufunda kwami was more easier when mm. i was pregnant mm because you had a yeah. purpose it was no more about yeah. you anymore wow yeah. wow it was more about the person nangi mletha la emhlabeni and i wanted ukuthi njengoba ngimletha la emhlabeni ngimnikeze the best ever mm yeah so i had to do everything for her mm So let's speak about the fact that you are a gospel you are a Christian right and yes, you also you've been singing with uh, backing vocals for big prominent stars in South Africa and that time comes where you are pregnant now and that community how did what how did you face that community um at that time i was not into into backings kakhu yet yeah, okay it should be bangangekho nje at that time so e e problem yami was was going to church and okwangisiza lapho ukuthi i didn't go home mm. to my mother ngahamba ngayo hlala mama umudlala wathi i must come and stay with her mm. sorry i must come with her because ange to mama vele usebenza kude Hey. during the day I'll be alone and mm. at that time i was in a lot of stress mm. um so i was with her cuz ingcono yena mayisemsebenzini endlini ukhona uanti so i'm able to mm. be with 
someone because mm. you mm. know when when you're pregnant and you feel like yo osiam ngizoyenza kanjani lento while i'm attending classes all mm. the time like it's two days a week because it's two subjects that i was doing mm. so nje it's just so overwhelming ufuna ukwazi ngokuthi ukodwa waqhubeka enkonzweni did or umdlelwane wakho nonkulunkulu how was that affected during that season of your life yo it was so affected because okay um the baby daddy stuff mm. Mm. i'm not going to get into it yeah no you don't have to it. yeah yes so um, lapo i i like i had to ask nkulunkulu why engbege in this situation that i'm in right now i've been worshiping him like ubona ukuthi uyayibona nawe ukuthi you drifting away from unkulunkulu as much as we 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 seen was mm. as as is sona saze sona singazi you understand mm. but i think i was angry at unkulunkulu i ended up not going to church at all mm. like i was like uh uh-uh. uh how would unkulunkulu angibukele ngihlukumezeke kanje ngiyavuma ngonile but this is too much for me oh we are but mm. yeah, eventually um i went back to god i ngabuye ngaba right and then what brings you back to him and how has being back to him uh, changed your life what what did it add to your life and to you as a person yes yini was possessed when when i went back to god i think it was 2016 mm. before i got stones mm. i called um ganwami who is who friend ka baby daddy mm. very close to him i was like bra i need a church that i need to go i, I have to go to mm. are you okay i'm like yeah i'm okay i just need to go back to god and go back to singing and everything yeah So he was like okay and then he introduced me to my spiritual parents that I have now which mm. is Mama Nkosi and Baba Nkosi. Mm. Yes, yini those people bangkhombisile ubunkulunkulu kubona. Mm. Uyazi ukuthi eh impile goli kanjani but they took me bangifake kwaphela labo. You know mm. and I'm I don't even have a problem of renting a place mm. because they a whole house but here stay here mm. you know and logo ngabungambona uNkulunkulu nje in everything that I was doing was okay okay no he's with me now he's mm. working with me even though kuna ma challenges but ngina leyo into enhlizweni yami ukuthi uNkulunkulu uzonikeza what's true to me Yes, cut is right. I love yeah. that. I love that. See, people are cutting Latin and masculine. Abo abazali be bashai, and ganengi be to ma marak shai agbambi le akshai robu kani. Ubonga balegi, ubonga balegu uye lau umchuge ubalegi legu. Ubu ubu fulu gu ishola part part west eighty side ku fulu gu ishola. Exactly. Gu gu ti uye no petin du gu marubu balegi lagu uye. And I feel hey. that. To, day many of us whenever we facing ama tough times see us balekele away from god ngoba sithi kunzima awukho ngoba ukuba ubukhona ngabe sime sinje asini ye baba singe hleli sime sikanje kodwa eqinisweni ukuthi la esibalekela khona ama sibalekela kuye sitsholo uphila ngoba ma ubaleka from yena usuku yale kude le ufike uqakeke lapho ufika khona uphinde usitsholo ubuya la ekhaya you know yeah So now let's fast forward to now you are here it's 2020 uh, and you are a mother and you are still chasing this dream of an artist one of the sacrifices that you've had to make is to split with your daughter and have her live in KZN and you live here to chase the dream how has that sacrifice changed you and how is it inspiring you to keep pushing You know um the first time 
umama ati kimi ya zimbali because wena usebenza unklapu mwoye msebenzini uhamba ngabo fo inendeni mtu wana maese kale i prima ruzo wenze njani mm. mama ngazi mina wase say mbuye sumtana kwa zuma ama mbese kuyi ili ase sebenza ese kale kai kwa ya na mwana and then uzo ngene skole eni gaji and then i was like oh okay at least she's the one who's saying that you know pela bazali mausu tolu mtana like usa ibanel usa ibanel oh but okay girl you're the one who's saying this now okay cool <laughs> and manga mbisu mtana ami i didn't even know what that young is always a nikul which was 2018 i would call it upgrade one and then I came back on my way back. You know, when you feel like, what I'm going to say, 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 without my mother. Mm-hmm. But on my way back, I'm going to say, from Park Station, I got a call from Otandega Nodada and Ustef, who was the casting director. I think it's Andal Manj. They called me Bang Um, they're doing a telenovela, which is Hope. Um, they wanna cast me. Um, it's an eight months uh, contract. I was like, okay, got you here. I was in a text, but oh, okay, oh, you here? Okay, so I did like this is the was the best one, ne? And Leo decision. Umtanami, Gasala Nai Pants, whoever lessing and say, say, cool leaders, they understand. Umtanami, mm. she's just so understanding. In a way, who sings and manga, who to learn. To a kitchen, who understanding and lender, Nazi Kelene, and Hansa was who sing Kelly now. You have to stay mm. with Uko and Jenny, because Uma Musafunum Sabins, okay? That's okay, Mama. It's not a problem. So, 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 made me strong she made me strong because mm. at that mm. moment mm. She's the one who kept me strong, Kashi mm. And um, now, quickly, if what did you learn from being in the cast, A Hope? How was that experience for you? Yo, Yazin, I hope la pang it's been a band to footy that aba 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 kulile aba sebe we industry ga cool and also aba mm. Mm-hmm. So, Mina, I'm glad I was there. I met friends, Lapo, that Nanam Sanj and Sabatinile, Mbalu Nimrod, he's he's just that friend. Engit Mangiti, Mganam, Ang Nai Mal. At time, my friend is of Fageli Mal, Ang Fageli Mal. You know, you know those friends. Eng Bonu was okay, my friend, Kuni audition Lang Elum Sesaganje, we are born. In the Ganjaluji, I've met a band that I can say they were family. Mm. Yeah, understand? Mm. Because Abba, Abanya Bantu, Mosangana, and Abbe Satini, it's like, hi, hi, you know. Mm. But, and Tina, we were doing season one of the show, and it's Vula Umoja Love. I was happy to be part of the show, a Kalayo, mm. like a channel, a Kalayo. You know, mm. and looking at too much I love right now, it's just something else. Mm. You guys were you didn't have full of masang, you didn't have full of masang. Not full of much love. First episode, it was us. You know. <laughs> wow. And wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About young Chablis, even now, young Chablis, but yes, in a much I love was so humble. But we started. 
know? Yeah, that's beautiful. And um, as we are reaching our conclusion, we became part of, I met you for the first time when we were cast in a play called uh, A Shortcut to a Short Life. And uh, that play, we were five of us young people. We devised the play ourselves. We put it together. And that play was nominated for the Naledis. How did that nomination make you feel? Yo, I felt so proud of myself and also you guys. Yeah. I'm a fellow casting members. Because <laughs> in JAI Bo, guys, we did great. That show was great. You know, we did the things. You know, I actually I was so proud of her. Like I was so proud. And mm. also our direct out like I was so proud. And mm. it's so nice to work with people as understand that you know mm. even now we have that relationship that bond Tina, you mm. know mm. i saw the the shame yeah no that play we're gonna be a family forever but i want to ask you yeah. this because we went to that play gave us an opportunity to travel south africa and visit yeah. different schools we got to perform in rich schools lavas pagama office in me yeah, more than most. Is it? Finger lunch. I'm a level. Tell them a finger lunch. Tell them a gift. Hey, must pull. And we also got yes. to go to schools that were so poor, where the teachers, the, even the students, did not know how to receive the gift of art. How oh. did that make you feel? Seeing that in 25 years, 26 years of the new democracy, we still have situations that are so bad in South Africa where there's one child mm. who can get so much and another child who can get so little, yet they are in the same grade. Yeah, that makes made me feel so sad, Yazin. Um, I, like Abanyabantuana, they didn't understand even what to see. Why are we here? Like, we are born with the same move, the same move, the same move. I felt like Ama shows aganjena, I think Uguti, sibe more kuma kuma rural areas kakulu than ulama rich schools. Oh. Because ama rich schools, they are ah, as young kindu. Lente suga si and jesi act and then bazi young kindu. Laba nyaba understand the lucho, aban babus but lela ni apula, you know. Why why was that? What you know, <laughs> mas pumile, omu yum tuanati, ni pume kole. You know, you know those things. You like yo as as a bazali nati as e e e e e lo department of education. They need to do something. They really need to do something. I want to speak about moments where in the play, uh, my character rapes uh, the character of Okeji, and she performed that piece very well. She breaks down on stage and. Even Ufisi was part where she was going through her monologue of things changing for her. I mean, the cast was amazing. But I want to speak about the moment when we had a girl run out of the hall because that rape experience felt so yes. rich for her. How did that affect you as a performer? You was supposed to thinking of that man. Oh, Umbalente. Oh, the network situation happened to her. The network situation happened to her. Oh my goodness, we still have a good 10 minutes. Where are you? Let's try bring her back. Let us try bring her back and find out. I mean, as we are trying to bring her back, this story that I was asking, okay, there she goes. There she yeah, is. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. Hey, okay. Why you mala pef mulo picham? Mungu sangu la sisi kwa wizi ndema zanza kwa sisi kwa zaga la di. Ah, alright. Ubusa sisi la geguti yakinta ganja ni lenda ba leo izingani zirelate to history se rape ngende lepsu nganga ga izi ba lege onwen ngenga geguti bona lento le stage. Oya zini um isosayati yetu namsha nje isipi. And 
ingana sakwazi ukukhuluma manje asikwazi ukukhuluma nabazali bazo ukuthi mama i'm going through this i'm going through that so ish i, I wish abazali bangazama manje ukukhuluma nengane zabo bahlale phansi nengane and tell them ukuthi in anything if anything ends akalayo empilweni yakho just tell me recently kade umamncane wamngcela ukuthi umntana yakhe she's pregnant she's she's 14 mm ngimthi ngithi mina andi bonga khulumi nengane uthi ngimbuzile lo muntu ngathi ma ukuthi dobe sese sa high school ma ukuthi ufile ngathi um kune boyfriend emshela ayifuna ukuyiqoma akeze kunina angijele she decided ukuthi no i'm not going to tell my mom you understand ukuthi lapho uzenzele yena ukuthi angamjele umawaki but there are situations where mhlambu malume o ubuti o whoever umuntu osendaweni uthe ukulinga ujele umawaki amthembise whatever amthembise yona ukuthi ngizobhula you understand then uthola ukuthi ngane ke mhlambu ayisazi ukuthi ngizokhuluma nobani ucabanga ukuthi okubalekile mina ukuthi abazali awuve awuve done utshele ngani ukuthi speak to me about when you're starting to date ningakaze naxoxa ngo ukuthi uthanda irogo eli blue noma eli yellow you know yes. you need to, you build this relationship with time uqala umbuzo ukuthi ufuna iphayi noma iphitsi athi iphitsi ude alright sasa ufuna ichicken or beef kanjalo kancane kancane by the time ufika so uzothi makunde into ikanje ungitshele nisuke senibhondile nakha ubudlelwane you know Yes. So I think that is very important. Mm. we don't stay with our kids. So nalonto yabulala iyabulala kakhulu. Because ingane ayibi nalobo budlelwane lobo noma noma wife. Um uyabona nje there was a time when I was at home. Ume Luthanda was talking to her phone. Asa kumbuli bengikhuluma nobani. And then kukhona usiswa ke ke umntana kababu wakhe very close still my daughter no masses ahlukana no babu wakhe but she's still my daughter so u u u umelo i'm talking to you one come speak at camera and at masa ngicedile ukuma thi mama ngikhuluma nobani is that our new dad ngithi mina no why are you so kanjani athi no mommy the thing is i don't want anyone to come in between the three of us <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so I just said you to learn mo to lo. You say ne understanding. You go okay. Yeah. So, mhlambu ba kuno ba bozo fika mhlambe. And then, ati kodwa nje mama he must not be strict nje. Mela dlale nathi, you know, if a new dad is coming. We are going to know I go ba bozo you then I'm like, "Oh, okay, fine." <laughs> You know. I mean I like that. I want to just without just quickly step a bit forward go the conversation go about 5 about 5 minutes. Bufuna ukuze ukuthi in this time your covid 19 how are you um adjusting to as an artist because auditions are scarce. We see a yeah. thing a lot of new productions but we're not hearing about auditions because directors are calling people directly exactly. right That's so happened. how are you how is that affecting you as an as a young actor in south africa at this moment and how are you dealing with the financial situation gumanj was possess young affect a cool this thing because uyabona manje ukwa usebenza ukuthi waziba mm uyabona isho nje enke 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 enga enge kiyona manje but na khona i'm just doing a role ncane nje ngikwenza because i i really need that money ukuthi mhlaba ngihambe ngekhaya uyabo na khona ngithola ikhole ukuthi can you do this like okay cabanga ke abantu ababele bathola ama calls for a lead role mm in affect ile kakhulu but as i said before ukuthi i have friends that cover me mm. all the time you know mm. like never go hungry while i'm here we are born mm. need mm. this okay you need to go somewhere okay let me let me let me go with you you know ngisizwa ilokho nje kakhulu 
And my family is not even worried because I told them it's not the right, the right, the mm. right. As much as financially, and you could write it, but at least you have a formula, you know. No, congratulations, my friend, on this journey. I know you are very talented, and I know that you still have a lot to give to this industry. I wish you all the best of luck. I know, Guti, before Gusa, Alagbim Yamaga cool, but we need, we need to keep knocking. What are your last words to a person who is still chasing the dream and they feel like giving up? What would you say to them today, right now? In the nation, they never, never, ever give up. And don't ever feel like I'm not talented or I'm not good enough for his intensity, so as a soul. Just make sure you focus and not to impress mm, that's very beautiful so so uh, okay uh, I can't see you. I'm back. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Um, kunne 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 ngo ma ka 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 doctor Tumi at a forgiven, ne? Because sometimes we say say I saw lang esinto, but when U doctor Tumi sang that song, eti I'm forgiven. Mm. I felt like okay, whatever that I went through, whatever. He forgives me. Mm. Mm. So, 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 Mike. I was two legacies. I'm forgiven. No more guilty stains. No. He remembers my sin. No more. No more condemnation. I've been made his own. Jesus' blood cries out, forgiven. Oh, forgiven. Beautiful. Forgiven. Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful. We are indeed forgiven. We only have yeah. like 20 seconds left. Uh, why, where can people catch you next? Quickly. Ah, ah, ah. I cannot say that. I cannot say that. <laughs> Not yet. You can't say yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> but, okay, keep following her at Mbali underscore.